For many years, and for many, many families, United Cerebral Palsy of Philadelphia and vicinity has offered promise and hope. It has been a resource, a respite, a second home offering understanding and friendship. While initially founded to serve individuals with cerebral palsy, today UCP provides services to children and adults with a wide range of disabilities, including conditions such as Down syndrome, autism, spinal cord injuries, and mental retardation. UCP is an extraordinary place. We do direct services to children, preschool age children and adults. Um, they come here for a variety of programs. Whatever someone's needs are, we customize it to them. Whatever the family needs, we try and step in and give them support. I can tell you a little bit about Madison. She was born prematurely. She did have a stroke at birth, um, which caused the brain injury, which is what caused her cerebral palsy. And having a child with a disability, we had a lot of unanswered questions and not knowing where to go. When I walked in the door, I kind of just got a feeling like this was a place I met all the teachers. I loved the, the size of the classrooms, what they had to offer. Um, the therapies were all going to be here, which was great. There was a nurse here. Again, Madison has some significant medical issues that was extremely important to us. Knowing that there's someone or, or people here that can help me, that, that'll be there for us and for Madison, you know, was just pretty amazing. UCP Best Friends is the only program that's totally inclusive in Philadelphia or Montgomery County that serves birth to five-year-old children. And we don't look at our kids any differently for the child that has a walker, or a child that doesn't have a walker, or a child that has a feeding tube or a trach. We have kids with Down syndrome and the typically developing kids don't see the kids with disabilities as having disabilities. They don't really pay attention to the differences, more just this is another child in my class. Mark can communicate with a smile more than other people can say with a hundred words. She had a very rough birth and she was intubated and uh, she was hospitalized for 30 days and then she had open heart surgery at four months old. Mar has been a survivor and a fighter since the time of her birth. I'm so proud of that that now I have to be the fighter for her. It's a very hard decision, especially when your child's only three years old, <laughs> to let go and, you know, let someone else help you take care of them. But we felt that this was the best place for that to happen. UCP has always been very accepting. And because of that, there was never an issue of his special needs making him so different. I mean, he does have some special needs. But I think he has done well because he has always been involved with typical children. He learns about them and they learn about him. And that happens here almost every day. UCP programs for adults include a variety of activities, social, educational, vocational, and residential. They're programs that are designed to help each individual reach his or her potential and fully participate in their community. My daughter uh, graduated high school. Jamie's mother died five years before that. And it was just her and I. And when she graduated, I had to have some place to put her immediately. We looked at a lot of programs for her, and this seemed to be the best program. And luckily they had a slot, because if I didn't get her into some programs, she would have, I would have had to quit work. So they told us to put her in an institution the day she was born. And somebody said, do you ever regret that? Not for a minute. I'd have missed so much of my life, and so much of her life, without her being with me. Horace found his job with the help of United Cerebral Palsy. He is also a resident at one of UCP's community living arrangements. His home is fully accessible and UCP programs give him the opportunity for participation in the community and an enhanced quality of life. I roll silverware for the Olive Garden. I, I like doing my job. It's part of my work. It's part of what I do. It's how I do it. And you know, and people love me, and that, that's the way it is.
Michael, who is deaf and has cerebral palsy, participates in a sheltered employment program, receives a paycheck, and experiences the same sense of accomplishment we all do for a job well done. Michael came here 20 years ago to UCP, and uh, he's been very uh, happy with it here, and we're very happy with it here. Somebody who doesn't know Michael and doesn't interact with Michael on a regular basis would probably look at Michael and think, oh, he's severely disabled, I can't communicate with him. Not everybody signs, Michael is deaf, but he has a, an alphabet card that he, that he can spell out anything that he wants to say and he can communicate uh, just about with anybody. Anyone that has the patience to take the time, they'll find out Michael is a very intelligent person. Every day, parents put their trust in United Cerebral Palsy, and UCP is especially proud that 86 cents of every dollar earned through events, grants, and donations goes directly to these services. Only under the guidance of a dedicated group of volunteer leaders and through generous donations such as yours can UCP continue its important work. It's a hard road to, to kind of find what you want for your child. You have to learn to leave go and let someone else take care of them. And you've put your trust in the people that work here. It makes me feel good that she has some place to go every day and some place that's meaningful to her. It's really an important time in children's lives, especially for children that have disabilities that make it a little bit more difficult for them to succeed. There's always a bit of a, a constant um, battle or a constant struggle to get the right services that he needs. UCP's just been all about good people doing good things, especially for our family. You can make a difference in someone's life here. Thank you.